Okay guys, here in this problem, we have water flowing through a duct, we have an isothermal 20 degrees at the inlet and exit, and then we have a different diameter of 0.02 meters at the inlet and 0.04 meters at the exit. We also have the velocity as well as the pressure at the inlet, and we're going to have to find the mass flow rate and the velocity at the exit. So first to find the mass flow rate, I'm going to use the expression of m dot equals area, cross-sectional area, times velocity divided by specific volume. So now we just have to find each of these variables. So if we have m dot equals, so we have the area first, and the area, if you remember, is pi d squared over 4, because we have a cylinder here. Um, and then we have the velocity is given as 40 meters per second. And we divide it by the specific volume which we're going to have to get from the property table. If we go to 20 degrees Celsius and one bar on the properties table, we can turn to table A2, which is the saturated table. And we go to 20 degrees Celsius, we see that the saturation pressure is 0 0.02339. Therefore, we have a liquid here. So we can approximate that we have a saturated liquid since there's not much difference between a saturated liquid and a compressed liquid. So we can approximate our specific volume as 1.0018, and you would have to divide it by 1,000 as indicated below. So now we can fill in 1.0018 times 10 to the negative third. Now I might as well just fill in the diameter up here. So the diameter was 0 0.02, and that's going to be squared. And if you plug this into your calculator, you'll find that the mass flow rate equals 12.54 kilograms per second. Now remember that because you have a single inlet and a single exit, you have m.1 equals m.2. So therefore, we can use this expression right up here to find the velocity at 2. So if we arrange it for the velocity at 2, we'll have that v2 equals the mass flow rate times the specific volume at 2 divided by the area at 2. And now we just plug in what we have here. So we have 12.54 kilograms per second. And the specific volume is going to be consistent, again, is 1.0018 times 10 to the negative third. And we're going to divide all of this by the area. So in this case, we have pi, again, d squared over 4. But the d in this case is going to equal 0 0.04. 0 0.04 squared. And we're going to divide this whole thing by 4. So now if you plug this expression into your calculator, you'll find that the velocity at 2 is equal to just about 10 meters per second.